everybody, Crystal here with Sea Light Candles and Soaps, and I am doing a soap that I've been wanting to try for a while now. The name of the soap is Passionate Kisses, but this is going to be my cocoa butter and milk soap. I am doing half and half milk. I'm doing half lye. Uh, and I mean whole lye and half my water and then the rest of it is in milk and 20% of this recipe is cocoa butter so this is going to be my cocoa butter soap and I've been excited to make it I've really wanted to make it for a while the colors that we're doing today is violet red mica from nurture soap and then we're doing iris purple mica from nurture soap and then Key West Blue from Mad Oils. And this turquoise, I have no clue where I got it from, but I thought it was pretty. Now, this scent, it does have va van bleh, if I can talk, vanillin in it. And so, I'm going to have to use a color stabilizer here in just a minute when I go to pour my fragrance in. Uh, first, I'm going to go ahead and get my milk and my cream in there. It's not only coconut milk, but a little bit of cream as well. I wanted it to have that rich tech, oh, that rich texture from the cream and the wonderful um, things that come from the cocoa milk. So there's that. Let's get that mixed in there. And my stick blender is about to die on me, guys. It will not hold. I can't push high for very long. It's like I got to push really, really hard. So I'm going to see if I can do this just on low. My goat's milk and my tussa silk and my oatmeal and my cladal clay, uh, cl cladal clay, listen to me, kaolin clay, gosh, I can't talk today. My kaolin clay is already in my bowl. All right, that looks good and mixed up. Let's go ahead and add our lye. And I want to add the fragrance oil the same time I add my lye. That way I'm not having to blend, blend, blend. I don't want to have to blend as much. And I like to use this for my stick blender. So while that is waiting, I will go ahead and add my uh, collar stabilizer. the water for my stick blender and I just added the color stabilizer you're supposed to add the color stabilizer within 15 minutes of using it so let me give this a good stir and look at me I'm already burning up oh my gosh this smells so good guys all right here we go there's our fragrance Hopefully the color stabilizer works and it won't turn on me. It was only like 0.6% van uh, vanilla, so it wasn't too much. Alright, let's get this mixed up.
right, that looks good and emulsified. Oops, I'm moving my table here. All right, I need to measure out these because I will be piping. So let me get my cheat sheet here. I got some pretty butterflies that I'm gonna add to the top of this soap. So that could be for my blue. Let's get this one. And I need, how many ounces, okay. All the way to the top. So there's one. That can be my white. And this one can be my violet. Okay, so I'm mixing this in all together because I don't have enough containers to um, ju to just put my um, topping on. So I'm just going to put it all together. And then I got, let's see, there's my white and my violet. Then I need my blue. Oh, looks like I've got one left. And this should be the right amount. It's going to go over a little bit, but that's okay. Uh-oh. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes, I do have one left over. White, violet, blue, turquoise. Gosh, this smells good. I love this, this scent. Alright, I'm going to need this later because of the way we're going to do our soap. So let me get all this out of the way and start getting my colors in. And I'm going to try something out. I tried it out the other day with um, doing my colors, um, pre-mixing them. So now I'm going to try it with just throwing the powder in there. And one of my subbies told me to mix my colors with a balloon. Um, whisk and the balloon whisk will get the colors in there without me having to mix as much so I am going to try it out I've already tried it out with pre-mixing so now I'm going to try it out with just putting the powder straight in we'll see how that goes and you know what I am all out of white pooey I need to get some white in there let me get my titanium dioxide Sorry guys, I forgot I was out of white. So let me get it done real quick. I'll probably fast forward this part for you. I'm back guys I had to mix up a little bit of titanium dioxide I'm gonna have to refill my little cup there so I'm just mixing it up really quick make sure it's good and mixed okay so this is really really full so I wonder if I slip it into this one if it'll hold it better oh yeah there we go let me scrape this out. If 
I just had one more container. I swear, my containers and my um, spatulas just disappear on me. I don't know where in the world they go, but they disappear. All right, so here's my white. Let's get a little bit of white in there. So there's that one. And then this one is going to be my violet. Alright, starting with the lightest color first, I'm going to go with my white. See how this does. I know I'm going to start the stick blend, but I'm going to see if this works with the whisk. If it does, then it will help keep my trace at a thinner consistency. And I won't have to blend as much with the stick blender. Okay, I want that a little bit more white than what it is. And I know once I hit it with a stick blender, it'll become whiter. Okay, that's mixed. Let's go to our pink. I know it worked, the balloon whisk worked well when I pre did the colors, but I don't know about just putting the color straight into the soap without pre mixing it. But so far, it looks good. There's some color on the side there, but I can get that with my stick blender. So, yeah, so far, so good, guys. It's working out. Okay, now blue. I love this light colored purple it's so pretty I've not used it much but it is a really pretty purple see look isn't that pretty so far this is working out so thank you to the lady that uh, mentioned this to me I still am going to stick blend it though all right so let's start with our white this pink. Look how pretty that violet is. So far it looks like the whisk got the color in pretty well. guys and I'm going to go ahead and just give these a little bit of a spin and mix them up a little make sure they're good and incorporated and like I said my spatulas are missing I have no clue where they're at they're not where I put them when I wash them so it is hard telling where they are now I'm not going to use all this violet and all this white inside 
of the um, soap. I'm only going to use about half of it. I know we'll probably have to leave it to thicken up a little bit. All right, let me get my molds. Well, first I need to get this because this is what we're doing. All right, we're going to do kind of a, a foo fox swirl and in the pot swirl at the same time. So I'm going to start out with some white and go to the pink. Maybe if I we go blue and I don't know about how much to use because once I start running out of this blue and purple I'll know to quit so white pink Now let's do some pink. Change it up a little bit. Blue. White. And purple. looks to be about the last pour blue and purple and then we'll leave the rest well now I really don't need a top so I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this time to pour in our molds so let's scoot these back a little bit Ooh, pretty Yes, just right because it filled it both to the top perfect all right let's pound these down just a little bit See if I can get a paper towel. Mm. 
All right. All right, guys. So here is our loaves. And our topping is definitely not ready yet. So I'm going to let it set up. And we'll bring you back. So be right back. And we are back after waiting about an hour to get my piping to set up. I finally have it set up. I got my pink and my white in here. So there's my piping. And then on top of that, I'm going to be putting these cute little butterflies. There's one kind. And then here's another one. They're different, they're different kinds of butterflies, but they're the same color. So those will be going on top. So let me start piping here. Let me make sure you guys can see. All right. So I'm going to start off with three across. I know I should have gloves on, but... Alright, there's one. Now for this one. Okay, now that I got them all on there, I'm going to do one down the middle. So that one's down the middle. I think I want to do one on either side. That one looks good. Now this one. I got some piping left, so maybe we will do one more across the top here. Ah. I'd say that's it for that one then. Alright, now for the butterflies. So I'm just, can you guys see? Okay, so I'm just going to place the butterflies in. And no, no, no. Oh, come on. Let me get a paper towel here. That one's got soap all over it. I hope I have enough butterflies. Okay, 
so there's one. Alright guys, with two to spare. Awesome. That one messed up a little bit. Alright, so here we go. Here's one. And I'm going to put some glitter on them. And here's the other one. Very pretty. Now my hands are itching from getting soap on it. Now time for some glitter. I love, love, love glitter. guys so we are done oh no what happened to this one that one took a dive okay you want to come look my daughter's going to come look at him look how pretty all right guys so uh stay tuned for the cut be right back it's Crystal here with Sea Light Candles and Soaps, and we are here to cut our passionate kisses. Here's one of them with the pretty butterflies and my not so good piping. I swear my piping skills, guys. I'm getting better though. Look how pretty that is. I am getting better at it. I'm still not all that great, but the more you practice, then the better you get, right? All right, make sure my wire's good and tight. I'm going to go ahead and get an end piece. Oh, looks like the piping was the end piece. Scoot that back. Don't cut the butterflies. I'm not going to cut the butterflies. There's the back of it. Oh, look at that. Let me see. Here's the top with the butterfly. See? Mm. I want to smell. Smell it. Yeah, Smells so good, doesn't it? I'm gonna move this back because I didn't space these butterflies exactly. Don't cut the butterflies now. I'm not gonna cut the butterflies. I'm gonna leave them alone. Look how gorgeous this soap is with a butterfly on top. First. Yes, crunch, crunch them up on the bottom with a pretty butterfly on top. Oh, look at the piping. Isn't that neat? Oh, I love it. It's so pretty and it smells so good. I wish we had smell-o-vision. That's a big piece. I think it looks pretty and I love the butterflies. Sorry, the noise. We're cooking, that's why if you hear the noise in the background. Well my daughter's cooking, I'm cutting soap. Alright. Yep, that's your sister. I think this turned out awesome. 
Yeah, Don't cut the butterfly. I'm not going to cut the butterfly. Last piece. There's the back. Front. Open that. Open that. Oh, look at that. Come on, right. help me. Now it's time for this one. Over here. There's an end piece. Here. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I love the way this looks. Oops. I love this up top up here with the, the pink. This pink and this pink are the same color. Ooh, look at that side. Look at this one, Lisa. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? It looks like a yin yang thing. Yeah. Yeah. These are gorgeous. Can you turn that fan off, please? They can't hear me. I'll be done in a second. Gorgeous, gorgeous soaps. Oh my gosh. And I had to use a vanilla color stabilizer because, hey, hey, shh. I had to use a vanilla color stabilizer because it had like 0.6 of vanilla in it. That's a big old piece. That's a humongous piece. Humongous piece. I need to make little markings on my silicone mold about where uh, each bar is going to be cut. That way I'm not just guessing. That's another big piece. Pretty butterfly. Quit, Lena. Give me some right there, right here. Is that crushed up enough? Yeah. Elena, come help with the other one. Very pretty. And last piece. I think I can just get some of the piping to go off there. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, so pretty. Alright guys, so that was my passionate kisses. So, if you like this video, please do subscribe and hit the like button. And subscribe for Pretty Butterflies. They're awesome. I love butterflies. I was so happy when I got that mold and this is the first time I've got to use it. And the passionate kisses smells amazing. So, uh, yeah, give this video a big thumbs up. Alright guys, so... Um, I got one more soap to cut. I just took it out of the freezer. It was the hot process that I did this morning. I'm going to let it unthaw a little bit and then we'll give it a cut tonight. So, uh, until the next video, guys. Bye-bye.